it my idea or the moon looks suspicious tonight? You know something? This reminds me that The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, it was a controversial title when it first came out. People weren't exactly sure what to think about. Like, do I really like this? And don't be a friggin' liar. I know that now you're like, oh my god, this is the best game I ever played in my life. But before, it wasn't like that because it was too dark and greedy and people were not sure if it's that's cool or not. Of course it is, but you had no idea. The thing is, when the time passed, it became a, you know, a subject of creepy pastas. The thing is that the game became a cult status and Nintendo was like, hmm, I think we have something here in our hands. The big end takes advantage of this unexpected popularity of Majora's Mask. And what do they do? They relaunch the title on the Nintendo 3DS. They present this to a new generation of gamers that never played this awesome game. Then come the Amiibos, the action figures, and you know something I would love. I would love if Nintendo gave this exact treatment to some forgotten franchises like F-Zero and especially Earthbound. Personally, I always loved Majora's Mask, and I'm sure it was popular only for having the Legend of Zelda name attached to it. No, duh! But like I said before, this is not the Zelda people were expecting. But years went by, and many gamers fell in love yet again with this title. And it shows. Despite the boom of Majora's Mask, Nintendo hasn't done anything with the most iconic character, at least for me, the most devilish and even more badass than that damn son of Super Mario Bros. 3. I am talking about, of course, the moon of Majora's Mask. Isn't that beautiful? This statue is a magnificent collector sighting. I know I say this a lot, but the attention to detail is outstanding. Be besides, the resemblance with the game's moon is uncanny. As a grown-up, I can still say that this creepy-ass dude is very threatening and frightening. I just get the chills by looking at it. The mouth with those jagged teeth, and don't forget to mention the eyes. But more on that later. After all these years, I just realized that the face of the moon looks a lot like Freddy Krueger. Hmm. Maybe the developers were big fans of Nightmare on Elm Street, or maybe just a big coincidence. I do have to point out that this is not an official product, but that doesn't mean it's no good. It's made of a sturdy and durable material. Sadly, the same cannot be said about the infamous Skull Kit that it's also included in this package. This 
guy has a little mount to put him on top of the moon. Easy to do and painless. Once again, the details are flawless. You can even take his mask off and see his face. In comparison, the figure that comes with the collector's edition of Majora's Mask for the new 3DX XL, that was a mouthful. You can immediately notice that the colors and sculpture speaks for themselves in the non-official release. The big disadvantage about the custom-made one is that it's very fragile. Mine already fell twice, thanks to a certain friend of mine, which name I will not mention, but I'll post a pic because I'm an asshole. <sighs> and you can clearly see the little skull kid has been patched up. So, the million dollar question, Carcamo, where did you get this? As I noticed, Nintendo wouldn't even try or dare to make something with the moon. I searched high and I searched low and I found this work of art made by an artist named Jorge Molina in Mexico. I bought it a couple of years ago and there's something I haven't mentioned. The eyes lit up. Yup. Mine broke down because of humidity in Panama, but even though the ice doesn't work, the moon still looks badass. I've seen custom-made sculptures on the internet, and I can assure you that this is the best. Jorge doesn't even know I'm making this video. Hey, I call it how I see it. Definitely, I'm pretty satisfied with this collector's item. Nintendo has made a little bit of everything with this franchise. Majora's Mask Amiibos, some World Nintendo figures. Hey, we even have a giant Wind Waker boat statue. But the moon? Nah, right? Who wants that? Well, maybe in the near future. I want you guys to tell me in the comments if you only buy Nintendo, you know, official Nintendo products, licensed products, or would you be interested in buying these? No, I'm not selling mine, I'm just saying. Just, you know, share with me in the comments and, you know, let's talk because we're gamers and stuff. But anyway, guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching Karakamo Gaming. Remember, Cállate, like... Yo, no. Oh, my God! Oh, no. <laughs> no, I am free! And I don't have to dance like an idiot. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>